Today, we're diving deep into what could be Canon's most anticipated mirrorless release in years, the Canon EOS R6 Mark III. With major leaks and specs slowly emerging, the camera world is buzzing with excitement and questions. Let's break down everything we know so far, why the specs truly matter, and how the Canon EOS R6 Mark III might reshape the mirrorless mid-range landscape in 2025. Canon fans have been eagerly waiting for the next iteration of the EOS R6 lineup since the Mark II dropped in 2022. With rumors strongly suggesting a 2025 launch window, most likely around late May, the Canon EOS R6 Mark III is expected to bring a blend of innovation and refinement. But with competitors like Sony's a7 iV and Nikon Z6 III pushing boundaries, Canon needs to deliver something truly compelling. While the Canon R6 Mark III is likely to retain its robust magnesium alloy chassis with weather sealing, subtle design changes are expected to enhance real-world usability. Canon's renowned ergonomics are rumored to get even better with a deeper hand grip, optimized for pairing with heavy RF zoom lenses like the RF 100 500mm f4.5 7.1L. Is USM Point, one of the most talked about physical upgrades, is the hybrid flip tilt LCD screen, a feature borrowed from Sony's A93. Unlike the fully articulating screens of the past, this new hybrid display can tilt both vertically and horizontally, giving creators, especially vloggers and street photographers, more versatile framing options. Also in the pipeline is an OLED rear display, which will replace the traditional LCD screen. This means deeper blacks, improved contrast, and better sunlight visibility, ideal for outdoor shooters and videographers. Under the hood, the EOS R6 Mark III is likely to feature the same 24 MP stacked CMOS sensor used in Canon's flagship EOS. R3. Why does this matter? Because stacked sensors allow ultra-fast data readout, significantly reducing rolling shutter issues during high-speed shooting perfect for sports, wildlife, and fast-moving subjects. The faster readout speed also makes 30fps continuous burst shooting with the electronic shutter a reality. Powering this sensor is the Digic X processor, now paired with Canon's newer Digic Accelerator chip, first introduced in the EOS R5 Mark. 2. This dual-chip system boosts performance across the board. Faster autofocus response, improved noise reduction enhanced 6K video processing, extended pre-capture modes. In short, Canon is building a camera that can keep up with the creative demands of today's hybrid shooters. Canon's Dual Pixel CMOS AF2 system is already top tier, and the EOS R6 Mark III is expected to push it even further. Although it likely won't feature the eye-controlled AF found on the EOS R3, the new model will integrate AI-enhanced subject detection. Expect smarter autofocus tracking that recognizes not just faces and eyes, but animals, vehicles, and even partially obscured subjects. Low light performance is also getting a boost, with focus acquisition capabilities down to 6.5 EV, delivering reliable accuracy, even in dim conditions. A standout upgrade for hybrid creators could be the improved. Coordination between in-body image stabilization and lens-based stabilization in RF lenses. This should result in smoother focus transitions during video capture, especially useful for content creators shooting handheld .pro grade video capabilities. Without the overheat, the Canon EOS R6 Mark II already impressed videographers with its 6K oversampled 4K video, but the Mark III is rumored to raise the bar with 6K cinema raw light recording at 60fps and 4K at 120fps, ideal for cinematic slow motion content. Other rumored features. C-Log3 and potentially C-Log2 for extended dynamic range full-size HDMI port active heat dissipation system borrowed from the EOS R5 Mark II. These upgrades directly target filmmakers, wedding videographers, and travel vloggers who often shoot extended video sessions and need reliability on the go. With Canon addressing the overheating issues that plagued earlier models, the EOS R6 Mark III is shaping up to be a no-compromise hybrid workhorse. Canon's pricing strategy will be critical. Rumors suggest a price point between $2,499 and $3,000, which puts the EOS R6 Mark III in direct competition with Nikon, Z6, 3 Sony, A7. IV, while Nikon and Sony offer strong competition, Canon's full-frame stacked sensor, hybrid screen, and dual chip.
Processing architecture could tip the scale in its favor, especially for creators who already own RF lenses or prefer Canon's color science. Upgrade or hold off? If you're a current EOS R6 Mark I or Mark II user, the decision to upgrade will depend on your creative priorities. Upgrade if you shoot fast-moving subjects like sports or wildlife, need reliable video performance without overheating, want 6K RAW, and 4K 120fps slow motion use external monitors, hold off if you are satisfied with 24 metadata p stills and 4K 60p video, don't require AI-enhanced subject tracking, shoot mostly casual or studio content A's always, budget will be a factor. With Canon aggressively discounting the EOS R6 Mark II, many hybrid shooters may choose value over cutting-edge performance. Launch timeline and what's next. Originally expected in late 2024, Canon has now shifted focus to its APS-C lineup delaying the R6 Mark III until at least May 2025. According to recent leaks, the camera could launch alongside two new RF lenses, adding more versatility to Canon's full-frame mirrorless ecosystem. Meanwhile, the deep discounts on the EOS R6 Mark II signal Canon's intention to clear out inventory, making room for the Mark III's arrival. That move gives buyers a limited time opportunity to score a powerful full-frame mirrorless camera at a bargain price. Final thoughts. The EOS R6. Mark III's place in Canon's future. The Canon EOS R6 Mark III is more than a simple spec bump. It's a sign that Canon is listening to its hybrid creators. By combining professional-grade performance, AI intelligence, and real-world ergonomic improvements, the R6 Mark III could become Canon's most well-balanced camera for both photographers and videographers.